Welcome to a demonstration of the new AutoScreen 2100 Automotive Dashboard Touchscreen Interface. This is the home or main screen. This would be mounted in the center console of an automobile. The top portion is, an, is a map which would show the current location or driving directions if there was a current navigation query entered. The middle section has entertainment controls and climate controls. Then across the bottom are the submenu buttons that take you to different parts of the system. One of our first tasks is to get directions to a specific location, starting out by tapping on navigation, tapping into the destination text box brings up a keyboard where the user can type in their destination, tap search, and then a suggested location pops up even though they haven't completed typing the entire destination. Once they tap on that, it will bring them to the driving location, the driving directions, and they also have the option for turn by turn, similar to a GPS system. And then the map would be interactive and change to update to the directions or the destination. So if I return to the home screen, one of the other main functionalities is the user profile system, where a driver can create a, pro a, a custom settings profile, including seat position, climate controls, and the entertainment center. They can switch users by hitting change user and then selecting the name of that particular profile. Notice how the name of the profile is updated there. They can also use the new user button. The keyboard pops up where they can type in the new username, hit enter, and then those settings would be for that particular user. Hitting the save button will make that the current profile. Lastly, we have the entertainment system. It is possible to fast forward and skip to the next song on an MP3 type device that's hooked up via USB directly from the main screen. There's also a more full featured entertainment screen where a user could choose from particular songs in a playlist and also switch between the radio station and back to a USB MP3 type of device. And again, the submenu buttons are available at most screens so that a user can easily switch over between those different sections. That concludes our demonstration of the AutoScreen 2100. Thank you for your time.